Okay. Like that camera's gone. I'm Aiden Mitchell, and I'm joined today by Vundabar. Hello! Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, just to start off, how has it been, uh, like, touring with and the kids? Great. Really good. Um, yeah. They're, they're friends, and we like their music a lot. And it's nice to play with people who you like, and also enjoy their tunes. So. I could. Do you guys mostly play stuff by yourself or do you mostly do things with other bands? A little bit of both. We have lately been doing a lot of touring on our own, which I don't know, it's it's I think it's can be more fun or like have more of a sense of like community, I guess, if you're touring with other people. Yeah. Yeah. What have you guys been listening to lately? Weaves from Toronto, Palm, uh, Predator Martyr, yeah, Sales too, yeah, mm. Dilly Dally, uh, a lot of people, Obie Hazelwood, Obie Hazelwood, yeah, um, who else? Over and over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly, been. that's all it's been. <laughs> and David Bowie's new album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is surprisingly good. Yeah. Do you guys try to take influence uh, from like other contemporary bands that you listen to? Yeah. Um, totally. I mean, yeah. Yes and no. Because, I mean, there's a lot of bands that are happening right now that are really exciting. Um, but at the same time, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> some stuff like random. I feel like some stuff sort of like naturally. Yeah, it's just leads over. Yeah. Yeah. I think being from Boston, like certain aspects of the music that you just hear a lot there will, you know, your environment will seep into your output, I guess. Do you guys feel like you have like a strong connection to Boston? Or? Yeah. Definitely. Totally. When we went to From California, I just realized how much of a salty East Coaster it was. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I would Before you have leave, a stick in my ass and I didn't <laughs> even know it. So, while we're talking about like influences on your music, I was reading an interview with you and you said that not only uh, did you like draw inspiration from other musicians but also from uh, like writers. Yeah. Can you elaborate a little more on how like literature affects your work? Um. Yeah, I mean, I just, like, I don't know. I don't really approach it as, like, I'm a musician, and I don't know. I'm not, I don't really consider myself much of a musician. I think that it's just, like, that just happens to be the medium of, like, creation, I guess. So, like, I get a lot out of, like, books and movies and, like, ideas rather than, like, that's a sick, nasty solo. <laughs> Tap. Um, Dragon Force. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, yeah. So I'm more interested in that and, like, creating feelings and atmosphere than, like, necessarily, like, the being proficient and, like, the uh, more pedantic side of the music thing. What movies, I mean, if there are any in particular, do you draw from there? Uh, Jaws 3, <laughs> uh, Shrek. <laughs> the Cobbler, the yeah. Adam Sandler movie. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Shrek is a pretty stellar, stellar soundtrack. Yeah, it does. Really Smash Mouth. Mouth. And Mike Myers. Personal favorite. I feel like the guy from That's Smash real. Mouth could secretly be Guy Fieri and no. <laughs> <laughs> Or they could just or they so just well. could switch. Like <laughs> I'm sick of the music thing, let me hop on your show and vice versa. <laughs> and no one would know. Um I can't think of any like off the top of my head, but um Yeah. <laughs> 
What movies have we? I just we just saw Dead Man. Which I really oh yeah, enjoyed. Dead Man. Jim Jarmusch is great. Um, yeah. Lobster. Yeah. yeah so when you guys are performing at concerts, what kind of stuff do you look forward to seeing? Like, what's your favorite thing to see in the crowd? Um, if you can pick one. People that will encourage me to do stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, just like a, a crowd. You want the right, it can be rowdy, but you don't want it to be too rowdy. And I don't know. I really like when I see like five dudes moshing really hard and like clearing the dance floor. Yeah, we had that going on last night. That was yeah. happening. Yeah, it was a little, little I didn't love it, and I I, I said something, but it didn't really. It's nice when a crowd is like it. it's more of a two-sided relationship as opposed to like either just us playing to a yeah. bunch of dead people or a bunch of like crazy people who don't care, could care less what we're actually doing. Yeah. It's nice when there's open there communication. Is, a good show, show. Uh, totally. A good, yeah. a good show is a conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like when people sing along, that kind of gets to go. Yeah, and I yeah, guess like, fun. when you like, feel connected and like, can, can connect with a crowd rather than like, I'm the performer, you're the, you're the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> we're hanging out. <laughs> Yeah. Instead of that. So, do you guys have like a like a favorite gig you've ever played? Um. No, it's hard to pick favorites because it's such like you just keep playing them. You know? Yeah. So I feel like if you're like <laughs> that one was the best, then it's like then why? I don't know. I think it's a thing of like you keep doing them and then your relationship with them changes and try to make it better every time um but the last couple shows with and the kids were really fun like the last mm -hmm. stretch that we did with them totally. um if you had a favorite you just like quit like, yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> all right we peaked um peaked when i was 12. <laughs> uh, yeah 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 so now on a slightly different topic, you told me last night that you've only been playing with them since January? Yeah, I just started in January. So how does it feel to be, I mean, I don't know if this is the vibe you get, but sort of like the new guy? I mean, they just like beat me up all the time. Tease him. <laughs> Make fun of me. We shaved him. It's pretty traumatic, actually. <laughs> yeah. Gonna have a lot of issues down the road. Get clockwork or just brainwashing it, the yeah. system where we put him in a movie screen and attach a bunch of right. stickers to And just play boom to bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're seeing. <laughs> we go through bass players every three months, so. Right. I'll be gone. He'll be gone. Yeah. He'll be another <laughs> Send him to the keys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you guys have, at least from what I saw last night, maybe like a silly stage presence. I mean, yeah. I no, know you were making pretty goofy faces up there. Yeah, it's just how I guess that just happens. Do you guys plan that stuff out beforehand? No, no really. not really. Everything is rehearsed. There have been a couple times like in the past where we're like, maybe we'll try this, and like it was too. That's like you can't put that much yeah. pressure on a, a performance. Or just not fun. Be genuinely fun. Yeah, exactly. It's not genuine when it's like. For, uh, for us, it's yeah. like, it's nice, because that's like, it's exciting when you are like using, just doing something that yeah. is kind of like spur of the moment. And yeah, and then like, the you don't even know what you're doing. You're like shocking story. yourself and shocking like, the other two people. Yeah. Like uh, I, when we were in make each other laugh. Rhode Island <laughs> with the kids, there's a table on stage and I got underneath the table and then I lifted the table up <laughs> on my shoulder. <laughs> and then hobbled around like that. Yeah. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> Improv or whatever, but yeah. just yeah. silly stuff. That's cool. That adds like another layer to yeah. the stage. Totally. And yeah. I think it keeps like performing. Like that's an element that I like a lot and that can be different, you know, because the songs are the songs and like you can improvise with them a little bit, but the performance is where. There's a lot more leeway for changing can, it up. Yeah. It makes it playing every night, a new experience. Yeah. What do you guys think is the most important skill to have in a band? Uh, mm. Driving. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it's like you drive 95% of the time. Uh, hang out. Wait for 4% three of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Wait to play it. And then for like 4% of the time and then play for 1% of the time. Yeah. So anything so other than playing like Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keeping music not in the forefront. Yeah. <laughs> and so as a sort of a final question, uh, are there any things that you guys want interviewers to ask you that they never ask you? Oh, that's a good question. I know what I don't want to be asked. Yeah. <laughs> right, what don't you want to be asked? How'd you get your band name? <laughs> it's just like, um, yeah. Yeah, that one, I'm just like, this, it's from nowhere. It's a dumb name. That's it. I went on Google last night and I looked up a bunch of interviews and I tried to write only questions. That's that awesome. That's interviews. cool. Yeah, that's, I feel like yeah. no one does that. So. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Good on you. That's, that's the thing. Awesome. Yeah, you can find like the same info about an artist like 10 different places online. Yeah. Like you gotta mix it up. So. That is good journalism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Cool. But thank yeah. you so much again. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Pleasure. Mwah. Adios. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah totally. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Cool little radio station you got here.